After cancer treatments left Tony Bonanno with nerve damage, pain, and weakness in his arms, he thought he would never play music again. Now he is a believer. I received not only pain relief, but regression. And I also uh, got back some muscles that had atrophied. Okay. After seeing dozens of doctors for chronic headaches, Margaret Clark thought she would never get relief. Now she believes too. It's a very painless situation and it's, it's miraculous how much it has helped. For more than 3,000 years, the Chinese have believed energy fields in the body can be controlled by needles inserted at specific points. Acupuncturists say that allows them to both cure and prevent disease. The U.S. Food and Drug Administration, while allowing the practice, has always called it investigational or experimental, reflecting the medical community's skepticism. A acupuncture has nothing to do with medicine. Acupuncture is simply a question of putting needles at random into the human body in the same way that you would put it into a voodoo doll. We're all basically here today because our patients want us to be here. But look now. Driven by desires to control medical cost and develop more preventive care, mainstream physicians are coming in record numbers to the American Academy of Medical Acupuncturists to learn about the treatment. So which point are you going to choose today? I think we should do the four gates to help mm -hmm. really smooth her liver chi. Mm -hmm. Nearly two dozen accredited schools, such as Yosan University in California, are teaching acupuncture, and students are crowding in. When I first started here, there were five to ten people in the classes, and now there's between 30 and 40 people in the classes. It is a very safe way of taking care of the most common problems that affect the American public day after day. Okay, here we go. And more than ever before, scientists are trying to figure out exactly how acupuncture might work. Some of the most aggressive research is going on at the University of Maryland. We feel that these therapies need to be held to the light of rigorous scientific scrutiny. Dr. Brian Berman oversees experiments such as this one, in which the post-operative pain of dental surgery is treated with needles. The patients do not know if they have received acupuncture or a simulation, yet those who get the real thing report significantly less pain. I feel pretty relaxed. Some scientists speculate the needles affect natural electrical impulses or control the flow of the body's painkillers, endorphins. They know similar positive results have been produced in treatments of nausea and arthritis. What we found there is that it works. It was able to reduce the pain and the uh, physical, improve the physical functioning without adverse side effects. Whatever the explanation, doctors at the UCLA Pain Center are now regularly using acupuncture in conjunction with traditional Western care. He had a couple trigger points in the infraspinatus too. I don't think we're doing anything revolutionary. We're just adding one, one thing to help us do what we do effectively. All of this new interest has prompted the Food and Drug Administration to consider removing the experimental label from acupuncture needles. Clinically, a lot of people seem to feel, both patients and pr practitioners, seem to feel that it's helping. And uh, that can't be ignored. You can't feel any of this? Despite high profile interest, for many years, acupuncture was largely ignored by the government and the medical community. This year, it appears likely it will formally gain a new measure of acceptance in Western medicine, which has been 3,000 years in coming. Tom Foreman, ABC News. Baltimore.